Good morning. We're here at the National Hurricane Center with the latest on this Tuesday morning on uh, Hurricane Aaron, which continues to be situated out here to the east of the Bahamas this morning with tropical storm watches and warnings still in effect for portions of the Turks and Caicos Islands, southeastern Bahamas and central Bahamas. Uh, right now, Aaron has maximum sustained winds of around 105 miles per hour, continuing to grow in size as it is now moving off toward the northwest at nine miles per hour. And the forecast really hasn't changed much since yesterday. We're expecting a more north northwestward and northward motion over the next 12 to 24 hours. And then the core of Aaron is going to pass offshore of the Outer Banks of North Carolina and western Bermuda as we go from Wednesday night into Thursday morning and then accelerate out eastward into the North Atlantic as we move through the day on Thursday into Friday. But the big change this morning now is we've now issued a storm surge warning for the Outer Banks of North Carolina from Cape Lookout up through Cape Hatteras, all the rest of Dare County up to Duck. This means there's the danger of life threatening inundation uh, of two to four feet of inundation above ground level especially in that warning area here. And that is, again, life-threatening inundation. We're particularly concerned about both the ocean side of the Outer Banks as well as the sound side. And this graphic from the National Weather Service office here in Moorhead City uh, talks about some of the timing. We're expecting the highest water on the ocean side beginning today on Tuesday, continuing all the way through Thursday with the potential for destructive wave action on top of that storm surge that could result in severe beach and coastal damage, beach erosion, overwashing and washing out of roads. Uh, to become uh, impassable, especially roads like North Carolina Highway 12. There's also the potential for sound side flooding uh, on Thursday once the wind turns north as Aaron Center moves off to the uh, northeast. If we broaden out a little bit, however, there's also a risk of some coastal inundation of one to three feet above ground level, both to the south across the rest of the North Carolina coast, either northern South Carolina and up into portions of the lower Chesapeake Bay area, including Hampton Roads and portions of the uh, eastern shore of Virginia. Uh, we've also now issued a tropical storm warning from Beaufort Inlet all the way up to Duck. So portions of Carteret, Hyde, and Dare counties. Uh, this means there's a likelihood of tropical storm conditions somewhere within this region within the next 36 hours, likely beginning uh, late Wednesday or into the overnight hours, Wednesday into Thursday. And then also we've extended now a tropical storm watch north of Duck up to uh, including Virginia Beach and portions of northeastern North Carolina for the possibility of tropical storm conditions there. Now, if we zoom out a little bit, we've been talking about the rip current risk all week. And you can see on this map, basically the entire East Coast from South Florida up through the Carolinas, the mid-Atlantic states, up into even northern New England has at least a moderate or even high risk of rip currents both today into tomorrow. And that large wave field as Aaron's wind field expands is going to affect almost the entire East Coast of the United States with dangerous surf and rip current conditions. So please stay out of the water. Pay attention to those warning flags along the beaches. So I'll just wrap up here with the key messages. We're expecting life-threatening surf and rip currents across the beaches from of the, much of the Western Atlantic Basin, from the Bahamas, much of the East Coast of the United States, Bermuda, Atlantic, Canada over the next several days. Storm surge flooding and tropical storm conditions are expected along the North Carolina Outer Banks. Uh, with uh, some of the storm surge beginning even as late as today with the tropical storm conditions and worsening a uh, coastal inundation beginning Wednesday into Wednesday night and continuing into Thursday. Heavy rainfall from the outer bands of Aaron will continue to affect parts of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos today, uh, resulting in some flash and urban flooding. And interest along the rest of the U.S. and mid-Atlantic coast, southern New England should monitor the progress of Aaron, as there are some potential for strong winds, especially offshore in the marine waters and also for Bermuda. So thanks for joining us here. You can come back to the National Hurricane Center at hurricanes.gov throughout the week for the rest, uh, uh, for any updates on Aaron. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.